Hey, it's Danny from Conscious Calisthenics here. So I'm going to be doing a vegan restaurant review for Munchies Vegan Restaurant that is a vegan fast food restaurant. That's how it looks from outside. And it's pretty, pretty cool to me. What about to you? And sorry about any background noise. There's loads and loads of busy cars here. And yeah, they look like they've got burgers, hot dogs, burritos, and other various foods. And then the sign that goes around here. And then, yeah. We're also gonna take a little look inside and show you what it looks like in here. So when you come here, this is where they're gonna be working. And yeah. I will be putting a link down below for their social media platform so you can find them easily. And yeah, this is in Chiang Mai, Thailand. And yeah, they've got all your drinks like waters, beers, coconuts, all different types of beverages if you want those. So a wide variety of them. And then this is the kitchen area, which it all looks very, very clean to me in here. And this is quite a new place. And as you can see here, they've got vegan fish and chips, uh, mac and cheese, spring rolls, nacho box, cheeseburgers, hot dogs, breakfast burritos, jalapeno poppers, papaya salads, so a wonderful array of vegan fast food that I am looking forward to. And yeah, you can see the vegan sausages in there. And yeah, it all looks really good to me. Oh, how nice. They've got some little leaflets there to being compassionate. So yeah, I'm looking forward to this food. And that is the owner. We are both the owners. Ah, the, both the owners. This is my wife. Yeah. Yeah. Cool yeah. And what made you want to open this vegan fast food restaurant? I wanted to make fast food better. Yeah, so healthier. Yeah. yeah. Because, you know, obviously I was meat eater before, like yeah. most of us. And uh, once I become vegan, I started missing this food. Yeah. But obviously all the choices were either not delicious or, or healthy, or just available because they had meat in there. Yeah or eggs or cheese. Yeah. So I went to the, into the journey on trying to create a healthy cheeseburger. That was the first kind of step. Nice. So I was working on three years on um, living in the jungle with my wife and my little daughter. And I was basically uh, just trying to create this cheeseburger from every single component, the texture, the flavors, the structure of it, the look of it, everything to match the, what I was missing. Yeah. And once I reached that, uh, I felt okay, I can do it. I can, I can create this kind of restaurant that uh, is able to improve the health of the world yeah. in general. Because what we realized, my wife, was that uh, so many healthy eating options are around the world. People are still eating uh, unhealthy. Yeah. We started thinking, why is that? And we realized that uh, you can't change people's eating habits. Yeah, exactly. Right? They, they eat what they like to eat, regardless of yeah. their health, regardless of their environmental impact, regardless of the pain, pain for the animals and all that. They don't just care. Right? No, because a lot of people yeah. just care about yeah. what of themselves, that, their yeah, and what it tastes like. So yeah, yeah. to get the world to start eating healthier and eating more vegan food, yeah. you need these alternatives. Yeah, exactly. Because a lot of people yeah. don't care about themselves with their health, the animals, yeah, yeah. Except the environment. So being able to create healthy, like vegan fast food it's yeah. also tasty appealing yes it's like there's so much like you said so much unhealthy vegan food out there so yes. trying to get all of those aspects into mm -hmm. the food yeah there's not a lot of restaurants out there that do it so no, there's none there. no so it's yeah. amazing to see that you're bringing this yeah, into yeah. Chiang Mai Thailand yeah, and yeah, exactly. it'll be amazing to see where, where it goes yeah exactly yeah. so yeah really thinking instead of trying to force people eating salads yeah. you're just taking the food they already like and making it as healthy as possible while keeping the taste. Yeah. So that was the ultimate mission here. Right? Yeah. And you know, outcome of that is definitely, if we succeed, right, we will save a lot of animals, we will save uh, a lot of environmental issues, because we don't use any plastic or any, any kind of you ah, know, nice. stuff as well, on top of, you know, the, the meat industry is polluting a lot, right? Yeah. As well as we are saving health of the people, right? Yeah. If you make a 10% healthier cheeseburger that everyone eats, and everyone eats that. Yeah. Imagine the impact. Right? Yeah, if you exactly. make fifty percent healthier cheeseburger, yeah. Yeah. imagine the impact. Yeah. Right? So rather than increasing the improving the health ninety percent for a small amount of people, we're trying to increase the uh, improve the health of everyone a little bit. Yeah. 
right? yeah, so it's a completely really different angle. Yeah, yeah. yeah so that's a brilliant, brilliant yeah. uh, thing you're doing. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah. So yeah, we're looking forward to trying out the thing. Yeah. Can we sure. Sure. try it out? Yeah, I'm sure it will meet up to expectations. Yeah, I'm very excited about this one. First off, I'm going to try this milkshake. Very, very strawberry taste, like very strong strawberry taste. Chunks of strawberries in it. It's been left there quite a while, so it's a lot thinner than in what it was. From what the owner was telling me, it is really thick. So, yeah, it would have been better if I didn't have to wait so long. But yeah, they don't use any white sugar. They sweeten it with dates and they use coconut milk. And it tastes like one of the healthiest vegan milkshakes that I've had. And what are you going to try next? Uh, I want to try that. Mm. Yeah, I like it a lot. Well, how does it taste to you? What is the texture like? Um, it is a bit thin, like you were saying, but I really like the strawberry flavor. It's really like strong, and you can taste it. Yeah, yeah, it's melted down. It's got a really nice coconut creaminess yeah, to it. Coconut. And then I'm gonna try these. Um, potato fries and what I've noticed is they're not really really deep fried at all they don't even seem like they're deep fried at all to me whatsoever like I can't see like hardly any oil on them whatsoever and yeah this milkshake looks pretty damn good to me and I'm gonna try it with the sriracha sauce and what sauce are you gonna try it with? Did you try this one? And what sauce are you gonna try it with? The truffle mayo? Mm. I love sriracha sauce, it's really good sriracha sauce, and wow, it just tastes like baked taste, it tastes like some of the cleanest fries that I have ever had, sriracha is really flavourful. That is like unreal. Show them that up close, you know? It's a truffle mayo. Oh wow! I've never had a truffle mayo, but wow, I'm going to have some more hey. of that. <laughs> that truffle mayo is to die for. Mm. So I highly recommend that. Oh, Next wow. we're going to go on to the cheeseburger. And what I love about this, it actually looks like a McDonald's cheeseburger to me with gherkins and onions in. And they're trying to make it look very similar to McDonald's. And if you look here, the packaging's really, really good. And all of this is not made from plastic, it's made from corn. This is recyclable cardboard as well. Made from recyclable material as well. Um, yeah, these look amazing. Oh my god. <laughs> the bacon is amazing. Oh my god, this tastes like the best McDonald's burger ever. Do you want my uh, pickles? No. Right. The bun's not too thick and it's really good. The bacon tastes like, oh my god, like such crispy, tasty bacon. And wow. the burger's got that like, char grilled taste, so it tastes really good. Oh my god. What do you have to say about it? Right. I'm speechless. <laughs> That was actually it's a 10 so out of good. 10 for me for a vegan jump through burger. And it doesn't seem insanely oily to me at all. Mm -mm. I like, I like the sauces on it too. Yeah. Yeah, the sauce combination is absolutely amazing. I ate somewhere recently, it was the most greasy oh vegan burger ever. That is amazing. It doesn't seem like very oily at all to me. Mm. Wow. So that's really good. This hot dog. I've tried many vegan hot dogs and I don't really like them. So, we'll see how this one is. The relish looks really good. It's got arugula on it, with some people call rocket. It's got some sauce on there, and the onions. And, yeah. Oh yeah, and the burger's got melted vegan cheese on it, and the patty is made from mushrooms and beans. The hot dog is with chunky, Thai style, slightly spicy sausage, which they made to sell fried onions and the rocket, as I mentioned. So I'm gonna try this. I 
Oh wow. Mm. The mustard tastes so good to me. Mm. Mm. And a sausage. If somebody didn't tell me that's vegan, I think it's not vegan. I think it's a meat based sausage. The sausage has got a nice chewiness to it. I've had a lot of sausage vegan um, type of things and usually they're too salty but this is like so good. It's like perfect amount. Yeah, very flavorful. The bun's not too doughy. Like you get a lot of hot dog buns that are just so doughy. And then we're on to the vegan mac and cheese. I am most excited about this one. Yeah, I see. That's pretty good to me. Oh wow. That is really good. I've only ever had one other vegan mac and cheese. Mm. The pasta's oh cooked enough, it's not undercooked at all. It's perfect. Tastes like a real mac and cheese to me. Oh, and it's got some bits of bacon in there too. Mm. Yeah, what did you say about this one? Right here. Melted cashew, cheddar, cheese on it, crispy, smoky bacon, tomato, spring onion, and fried garlic. 10 out of 10. And she's tried a lot of good vegan mac and cheese yeah. compared to me. And in America, so. Then we have the burritos. And they're breakfast burritos with vegan egg scramble, crispy bacon, fresh salsa, oh avocado, fried potatoes, and fresh coriander in whole grain. Wrap. We try it together. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see what it's like, shall we? Falling out of my mouth. Wow. Seriously? Oh <laughs> my god! <laughs> wow. The bacon with the scrambled egg. Oh my. And the potato. And the sauce. I don't eat anywhere else in Chiang Mai now, and I've eaten so many places here. Like, wow! I think it's one of the best foods ever in Canada. Yeah, and most places I would expect this type of food to be really unclean and healthy, but it's mm -hmm. not at all. Like... Oh my god. Unreal. Like, mm. Everything else? Oh, this one. Seriously, this food is amazing. Come here. Like, do not miss out on this. And then we've got the last thing to drive, which is the vegan nachos. You can try them if you want. Okay. It's in, it's a nacho box with, which is baked coriander lime nachos, not fried, so they're really healthy. Crispy kumi and meat, fresh salsa with jalapenos and cashew cheese. Trying to get like a little bit of the sauces on there. Well, what he said was to pour them all on top. Oh. Just go for Oops. it like this. Done. I'm not going to put the uh, guacamole on there because I can't actually oh eat avocado. God. You want to show her eating them? Very unique experience. I've never had baked tortillas. Wow, that is so good. It's a bit hard to get in there. Yeah, it is. Mm. And they kind of like fall off a bit. But yeah, healthiest nachos I've ever had, but not to the point where they taste bad. They taste really flavorful. And wow. I'm making things fall everywhere. <laughs> and I love these like beans and this meaty type of substance they've got on there. It's like mushrooms. So, yeah. Very positive experience. Sorry about any background noise, it's rose all around so we can't avoid it. Ten being the worst, I mean the best, zero being the worst, what would you give this food out of ten? Ten, yeah, for I'll give it, sure. I'll give it ten, I wouldn't change it at yeah. all. Um, Everything. The environment's really good. The owner is really amazing. Right, yeah. he's really friendly, really nice. He's got really good morals, um, ethics behind his company, and I wish him the best. And something I forgot to add is just the whole experience was just absolutely amazing. The people that own it are brilliant. The staff are really good. It's really clean there. 
yeah, it's a little bit noisy with the video because it's next to a road, but yeah, that's absolutely fine. And I just love the packaging as well and their logo. It just really stands out and it really reminds me of like McDonald's fast food, but a healthier alternative. So yeah, this is some of the healthiest most tastiest vegan junk food that I've ever eaten. And also they have free high speed Wi-Fi that has very good speeds for downloading and uploading speeds. So if you're someone who needs to use the internet, which I normally do a lot of time because I work online and might be out at a restaurant and need to do some work, you can do it here and have amazing, amazing speeds, as I've mentioned. So yeah, don't forget there'll be all the social media links down below. For this place and make sure that you definitely check this out because I have eaten so many places in Chiang Mai Thai and this is by far one of the best ones that I've Definitely. eaten at that will make me come back time and time and time again. And also if you haven't checked out Janessa's YouTube channel there will be a link down below for that to go to her channel and make yes. sure that you subscribe. But yeah we are going to get on with enjoying the rest of this because it is absolutely amazing and we hope that you can come here and enjoy it as much as we have too. So yeah, if you have any questions for us or the Munchies restaurant, leave them down below. If you like the video, like it down below, give us a thumbs up. If you don't, give us a thumbs down. And please share this video with anyone else who you think may want to see this amazing vegan restaurant review that we've done for Munchies here in Chiang Mai, Thailand. And if you haven't already, click that subscribe button down below to receive a lot more vegan restaurant review videos from me on a regular basis. And just make sure that you enjoy the rest of your day, eat some amazing food that makes you feel good and make the most of your day. Peace. Thank you.